Okay, everybody, welcome to the first episode of my new little project that I'm going to try out called Riley's Mac Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you a free alternative for an antivirus software for the Mac. It's really hard to get viruses, but just this is just in case. You can go to the video description to find the link for this program, or you can do what I did, Google Clam, X-A-V, all one word. We're going to go ahead and click the first link because it's the right one that we need. And we're going to go to the download page, as you can see in the top. Right up there, there's a little preview of it, a little screenshot, some info about it, but let's go up to the download page. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just download Clam XAV. Uh, they only have one version of it. I don't know if they're going to be updating anymore, but it's a great program. You, you don't really need any upgrades for it. And in this case, I'm going to download the Universal Leopard. Um, this should work on all intel definitely all intel leopards and i started the download process and my speed download popped up oh there's a update for it let's go ahead and ignore that for now but um let me show you some more info on this page here's the page pretty much if you're not on it right now they have older versions of it for panther and all that good stuff right there and there's it's about halfway done in my speed download, I highly recommend speed download. It's really makes your downloads much more speedier. All right, as you can see, it's almost done. It's gonna wait just a little bit. Shouldn't take that much longer. There you go. Now I'm just gonna drag this to my desktop and get a good disk image off of it. Let's see what'll happen. All right, it's opening up. And now I'm just going to open up the disk image and see what we got inside of it. Alright, since I already have it downloaded my applications, I'm just going to go ahead and double click the icon inside the disk image. But if you're a first time user of it, I would highly recommend you install it. All you have to do is you can see the arrow, drag that little icon to your application section. But in my case, of course, like I just said, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to go ahead and double click that out of the disk image because I don't need it anymore right now. And uh, there's a older version of Climax AV. I don't know what's up with that, but because I just downloaded it off the website, I'm going to show you guys right now that you cannot just select your Macintosh HD hard drive because it'll give you that warning and it might mess some stuff up. But here's an alternative to it: just go to your Macintosh. Uh, I mean your your name of your computer. Sorry about that. Click Macintosh HD and then select all the contents inside your Macintosh HD. Click Open. And you can start the scan, and it'll scan it from there. This is just for precautionary stuff like that, just in case your startup disks mess up or anything. Uh, thank you very much.